G'day guys, well, I'm going to have a quick look at this Victor I got from the tip yesterday um, It's an electric start model So I'll hook the battery charger up to it in a moment See if it has anything in the starter motor Because quite generally they've got a lot of water in them over the years Sometimes they're repairable, so hopefully this one is But to begin with I'll take the muffler off to see if the um, piston and rings are serviceable so usually the only thing that goes wrong in those engines is if someone runs them without the correct fuel mix they um fuck up quite quickly otherwise it's just only carby problems but right, let's have a look a bit of crap falling in there a lot uh, rings are sad. I can polish that piston up. Uh, it's salvageable. There's a few little scores on the piston. I'm not too worried about them. I'll just hone the bore and put new rings on. It'll be right. Hasn't run for quite a long time. A bit of carbon build up in the exhaust. So I'll clean that off and that'll be right. I'll actually pull this whole engine off. I'm not sure if this frame's repairable. Front axle needs new bushes. A fairly big dent there. A couple of the wheels leave a bit to be desired, but anywho, I'll, I'll put this engine on another frame if if needed. Okay, I'll pull it apart a bit. I'll back in a moment. So I've got the battery charger connected to the um, wiring at the moment. That battery's dead, but I've got a few good ones lying around. So, so I've got the push button up here, and as suspected, and see so the dried out, and it's not throwing out into the ring gear. Sometimes the um, drive cog on the starter's broken up, but I have got a new one in the box of goodies in the shed somewhere. Okay, work on pulling this thing apart. Yep, definitely going to scrap this base. It's just rusted out so badly. No paint left there, and it's all just coming off. Oh, technically it's powder coating. And, you know, it's not like bases are scarce, so I've got the perfect one in the shed just for this, so I'll grab that out. And I'll probably do that tomorrow. But for today, I'm just going to clean this up a bit more. Um, it is missing some of the wiring for the charge circuit for the battery. So, I have got another set of wiring here somewhere for it. I'll try and dig that out. Um, and I've just finished stripping these all off the mower base. And, yeah, start pulling this engine down. Don't like what someone's done for a repair here. Oh, they just cut off the e end off the original one, put on that thing, and it still ends up arcing across anything. When um, it's only a couple of dollars for a new spark plug boot, that all that's supposed to be in in the end of this wire is a screw, and then the boot slides over it, and it works perfectly. But anyhow, I'll, I'll have another ignition coil I can just swap on, and she'll be pretty much perfect again. Oh, here's all that's left of what was a lawnmower before. Some useful parts left, but anyway, I think I work out why the starter motor wasn't throwing out. Do need to oil everything inside it too, and put some grease on the gears. Anyway, pull it apart and see what's going on, then worry about this engine and everything else. The motor itself seems to work perfectly, but <laughs> there's years of dried out old grease in here, so I'll clean that out. Get everything really good and put new grease on it. It's quite stiff to turn. And see what happens. That's the other side of the starter housing with the gears removed. <laughs> it's just really solid. Anyway, that's easy fixed. Here's all the gears. I'm just going to clean these housings before anything else and then try and reassemble and see how it goes. Well, this is working perfectly now. Right. 
move on to the next engine in the boss now. It's going to take off the starter and then take off the head and whip the piston out. Just removing the crank pin now. It's getting a bit dark. I might go inside in a minute. <coughs> and a bit of luck. Turn the engine that way. Out comes the piston. Ah. Piston salvageable. We'll clean that up. This scratches aren't that deep. It's the fact it's been run for quite a long time after the thing was run with no oil in it. It's had a lot of blow by. That's all the black marking is. Oh, that's plenty serviceable. Used worse before. Yeah, quite a forgiving engine. Very well made. A lot of people bag them out, but anyway, we'll come back to this in the morning. Well, got out this morning, came out with the hone, given that a bit of a clean up, cleaned up the block, just got to wait for the um, degrees where I used to dry off, give it a quick hit of paint, then run the hone down it one more time, just waiting for the drill to charge back up, and then work on reassembly. Just got to go and find another ignition coil some wiring for the battery charge circuit too. Oh, the piston's cleaned up and it's usable. So, put some new rings to that and we'll get it in there. Got some paint on this block. Looks quite shiny. I'll just use engine enamel on them and heat proof enamel on the exhaust. And, yeah, the ball honed up quite nicely. A bit of shit left in there I've just got to wipe out. But Eh, there's a few superficial scratches, but they'll sort themselves out. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away and um, pretty well much finished it. Got the battery on the charger. <laughs> Isn't taking a very good charge, so it's probably going to wind over too slow to start it. Um, anyway, just mixed up some fuel. Went to town and bought some. Take it up back and see if we can get a, get a pop out of it. Okay, so we're primed up, ready to go. Carby needs a bit of fine tuning, but it is working. start of the battery. battery's got 2008 written on it, I think that's when it got decommissioned. Once it's warmed up, these do start very easily, like... <laughs> Thank you for watching.